as you can see the abandoned scooter has transformed into something different um, been busy with work so I haven't really had time to film the build up process on this one uh, essentially I ditched the frame because it was too heavy I made up my own frame out of 40mm medium wall box section uh, it's about probably 40 centimeters shorter than the original so all the cables have got to be shortened by quite a bit um, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while so essentially it's a home built supercharger using the intake side of a smart car Garrett turbocharger convert it to belt drive from the output shaft of the engine that's the fixed side of the pulley in there and it's the inner edge that varies the diameter so it won't affect the belt drive in the um, supercharger This is still in the dry build stage, so I've got to make a tank cover to go over this. I'm not sure if that's going to be aluminium, steel, or fiberglass. Um, need to mount the gauges. There's a boost gauge and a speeder to go on the top. Already made a start on the wiring loom. Cut it down to just the basics. to get a new side cover for the engine because this one is cracked off that bit should go by there so need to get a new one of those and mount the uh, front caliper there's a little pressure relief valve here This is something I've been wanting to do for a while, but as all my bikes are two strokes, you can't conventionally supercharge or turbocharge a um, petrol two stroke engine um, without some kind of valve on the exhaust. It's just not going to work. If you want to see how it's done properly, um, watch two stroke stuff in his uh, brute force project. That shows how much work goes into doing it. kind of um, conversion um, even with a four stroke um, the exhaust just isn't really big enough to get even a small super turbocharger to spool up um, a conventional supercharger would just basically rob so much horsepower to get it to turn that a 49cc engine wouldn't be able to do it hence I've made my own um, it's not going to produce massive amounts of boost, but it should be a little bit of a giggle. So, also got a fabricating exhaust for it as well, which is going to be like a instead of like a Brooklyn's sort of can. There we go. Hopefully next time we see this, it'll, uh, the dry build will be finished and it'll be ready for painting. Thanks for watching.